Welcome again to the Sunday Guerrilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III. And today, as you can see, we're going to talk about, you see this at, at basketball games, football games, sports events, this verse, John 3.16. And the overall title of this message is the theme of, of going back to basics. Let's just deal with the basics. It's, it's in our humanity that we want to complicate things because it seems like we want to feel important. So in order to, to feel important about this gospel that Jesus left us, we have to complicate it so we can get involved. But um, I just want to go to John 3.16. Actually, the third chapter of John. Uh, verse 1 starts with, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do the signs that you do unless God is with him. And Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. So Jesus goes on and explains that you must be born again. And it is in that the 16th verse, the, let's go to 15th, verse 15, it says that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have an eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Verse 17 reads, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. Back to basics. Life is more than what you see. Meaning, the span of a life, you know, people are averaging 80 years. But if you do the math, there's been decades of 80 years where people have gone 80, died, and then ate another generation. Life is more than what you see. And this Bible is trying to explain to us when we are no longer seen on this planet, something else is still going on. And, and the simple message of John 3.16 says that God loved me and you that he sacrificed his son so we can have eternal life forever not the forever we know the et eternal never ending because it explains what we say as death we feel we're gone but it's going to be eternal living with God or eternal um, damnation living with the devil John 3.16 keep it simple just like it so somebody who wants to learn the piano, you got, you got to start with the basics. And the basics tells us that God loved me and you first. And it's not that mushy, mushy love, hugging and kissing. It's a love that he gave us some. He gave us life. Back to basics. John 3.16 that all you have to do is believe. See, I'm, I almost ended this message without saying that. That all you have to do is believe in Jesus. And I want to go back to John 3.16 so we can see in here, John 3.16, New King James Version. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And let me add emphasis on believe. Believe is a complicated word. It is the receiving, but then it is the doing. By your actions, by the actions of what you believe. You input it in the brain and then you do what you believe. 
So not just saying, but believing. Doers of the word are believers. Amen? And it's simple as that. It's simple as that. Back to basics. John 3, 16. 